Hello everyone and welcome to the BIM Training Studio. My name is Justyna and I'm working for a Strusoft company. I will be guiding you through this BIM training course and we will build together a sports hall in impact easily and quickly. So let's get started. While working on this project I will be using a default standard from impact and you can get it from installer if you click on uh, your installer bar and then go to server connect and download 1100 impact design standard. So this is my third semester project which has been done in Revit and it took quite a lot of time but this time we are going to make it faster and this is a sports hall building made out of elements the yellow part is a wooden part made of prefabricated wooden elements and this time we will be working on a main uh, building part which means we are, will be working on a hole made out of prefabricated concrete elements. So now we are going to Revit project and we will make external reference for impact project. We open the ground floor plan and we can see cafeteria part. We are not going to use that for impact project. So we have to hide it in view and just leave concrete part building. When we are, have done that, make sure that you have all the grid lines. Then we go to export, cat formats, dwg file, next and then save it to your desktop. Name it xref. Okay. You can also easily get the external reference by clicking on this link. And now we have our external reference done on our desktop. We open project manager where we can see navigation tree where we can browse our project. We have grid for the components preview of the file and then file properties information. So now we'll make a new project. I just name it sports hall. Then I give a title also sports hall. We can't have any spacings here. Description. Third semester project and text 3, text 4, text 5 will be visible on a title box so you can basically describe your group or a class or whatever you want then I uh, say that it's checked by the teacher, approved by the teacher, you can write a name and surname and you can write any other information if you want now we go to the walls, we set the rotation height in the slabs we indicate the support length for components we can indicate the base level reinforcement in the drawings we can uh, say what features we want to have in our drawings uh, we describe builder who is the builder so in this case it's VA University for example then I can't remember the address but we just write the address zip code in the city horses construction site we also describe construction site with a name address zip code and city calculations we describe later for now we just change the standard we use eurocode standard uh, if you work in another city or um, any, if you have any other standard, you can choose another standard. And now we click OK. Once we have done that, we can go and make a new floor in our project. So we try to keep it simple and you have a preview on the right that you can go according to and change your, uh, for example, story height, uh, floor to the head opening and E is a dimension for the MEP key we will be using it later and when once we have done that we go to the uh, select standard we choose impact uh, every company has its own standards and then user profile just describe your own user profile your contact details phone number email and so on now we have done that and we can make a new floor plan in our project so I just name it according to the BIPS system naming system it's AN 
and then the code for your plan. Then again I say that it's approved by the teacher and then I give a description, ground floor plan. You can set the scale and what sheet do you want to use and the position of the paper. In this, in this uh, case it will be landscape. Then I check it, everything is fine, I click OK and then double click or just click open and you have the first sheet done. Now we are going to use the external reference that we have done before. In a command line we in type in xref then we choose the file we want to use which was on a desktop then I uh, specify the interrogation point that I will choose myself on the screen, otherwise it will be placed in the corner. Then I choose the position of the external reference and I close it. Once I have done that, I have changed some of the settings on the plan. Then I click on settings and I indicate that I want element ID and elevation C. I check if everything is according to the floor that I have done in the project manager and I confirm it. Once I have done that, I go to the wall definitions and we will make a new sandwich wall. First I choose my sports wall project, I will make sandwich wall and then I click on new. Then I give a name with the prefix SW and I will make a wall of 42 centimeters. I indicate the sizes in the description. And then again I indicate uh, separate sizes for the inner panel, insulation and outer panel. And then what type of materials I want to use. I choose concrete, polystyrene insulation and then again concrete. Then I choose the template of the reinforcement and the cast type, inner panel up. Production line is according to the administrative tool, so I choose mode 1 and then automatic rotation. In the lift and bracing, uh, we don't have any lifts yet, so first of all we have to make new lifts for the default pipe, so I type in a new specification for my lift supplier, so I will be using 60 degrees lift with a name 0157, maximum uh, mass is 7.5 tons. Then I have several more. Again, 60, name 0158, and tones, and another one, 60, 0159, 15 tones. Now, once I have them, now I can specify the full type of the lift. So I type in 60. Uh, if it's rotating elements, I have rotation on the left, lift. Uh, lift. So I choose the left side, bracing I choose type 0581, then in what uh, placing I want to have it, it's 1.5 meters from the bottom, so I type in, and then placing long side is the center of gravity. Once I have done that, now I have to give a naming for my element, so I have to give a prefix SW, 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 and the drawing type, I choose sandwich wall. Drawing type, layout, OK. Once we have definition done, we can start drawing our sandwich wall. So I click on draw wall, sandwich wall, and then I start from the specific corner, and then I start drawing a facade wall along the wall facade until the other corner, I finish here, and then I continue on a gable to the corner, again on the facade. Don't worry if the wall becomes red, I will explain you later why is it happening, and we can change it. So, and my sandwich walls are done. Well, also in our project we have some doors and windows that we have to make openings for. So I go to Revit, I check the dimensions that I am about to use. Then I go to Openings and make a new opening for my project for a sandwich wall. I remove the existing one and make a new one. I give a prefix D1. And then I describe a bit what opening is that. It's a double door with uh, some side windows. Then I give a description of the dimension click OK and then in general I describe the sizes of my opening how width, uh, what is the width, how high is that and what uh, end caps I'm about to use 
that I have in my project. So I click bottom, site, site again. I give a production code, D1, and click OK. OK. And then I have to draw my opening. So I already made the opening. I check if opening is the right one for the sandwich wall. I choose the base to head of the opening 2100 and then I start drawing from the corner and then I specify the rotation and I have my opening in place. Then I click on edit wall, select the wall, click on add, single, select what you want to add and then confirm by enter, update the bracing and lifts and exit. If you want to make sure that you have done it in the right way, just go to 3D model and check if you have the opening. And now we will proceed the same way with an opening for the window. So we go to Revit, we check the measurements for the opening, and then we go back to AutoCAD Impact, we go to Openings, and we specify a new opening. I give a prefix W1, give a description window, and then measurements for the window. Confirm, and then specify the width, the height, what end caps you are about to use, window top, bottom, sides, give again a production code, and click OK. And then we can start drawing opening for the window. We check if the opening is right, use the name for the sandwich wall, and then base the uh, base to head of the opening is also 2100 and then we start from one corner we specify the rotation and then we have the opening we again click on edit wall select walls you want to add the opening for add single and then select the window opening confirm by enter update uh, lifts and bracings and check 3d view if you have the opening you can also take a uh, uh, measurement tool and measure if it has the right height so distance and yeah it's 2100 so it's right and once you are done with all the openings in the sandwich walls it's time to start drawing internal concrete walls in our project we will make two types of internal concrete uh, walls uh, first we will start with the internal wall of 20 centimeters so we give a prefix of W20 generic 200 millimeters we click OK and then we specify uh, general uh, settings for our concrete internal wall uh, we choose the production line mold 1 the rotation automatic and then again, because we don't have any lifts, uh, we have to specify them again. So we are going to use 60 uh, degrees uh, lifting type with a specific name, with the same mass as we have used for the sandwich walls. So I type in three lifts. I have 10 tones, new, 60, 0, 1, 5, 9, and 15 tones. Now I can write that my default type will be 60. 60 and the rotation uh, lift is left side I have two lift points and then bracing I choose 0581 fixed distance again 1.5 meter and then center of gravity and then I give a naming prefix www for all the rows in my naming uh, system and then I choose solid layout once we are done with the definition of the generic concrete wall of 20 centimeters, we can start drawing. So basically I start from the left side and then I go all the way up to finish the wall. And then let's draw again a new wall on the left side from the left corner. And we are done. Now we have 20 centimeters internal concrete walls. We will make another internal uh, concrete wall of 10 centimeters. We give a description, generic concrete wall, 100 millimeters. And then we have this almost the same settings with just different width of the internal concrete wall. Mold, automatic, 
again we specify the same lifts that we are going to use 60 degrees with a maximum mass of 7.5 60 0, 1, 5, 8, 10 tons 60 0, 1, 5, 9, and then 15 tons and the same procedure with the default type I specify 60 60 90 two lift points I have the same bracing type with a distance of 1.5 meter and then center of gravity I give this exactly the same naming as I have done before so when I save the element it comes with the same prefix I choose what layout I'm going to use for my drawing and then OK and now we will draw internal different wall but it comes as the previous wall of 200 millimeters so don't worry just keep drawing and once you have drawn it just edit the wall properties and then change the type of the wall you want to use change it to W10 and it will be changed automatically now because it's not in the right position you have to move it a bit up so click on move specify base point and move it in the right position now you are done with internal walls but you see that they are not in the right height so basically we go back to the plan we mark the walls we want to change in this case it's internal walls so we select them don't worry that they have a name unmarked once we save them they will get new names but I will tell you more about in the next video now we specify the different height we say 3380 and because it was in a bit different levels we click also rotation automatic and we want to have it in the same level so in elevation we just write zero so they will be aligned in one line from the base we click OK update all exit to confirm and then we go to the 3D view on a navigation uh, cube and we can see that walls are in the right height